right, guys, let's let's talk about this, all right? So repetition, right? Repetition is being able to do things over and over and over again. If we can get repetition out of this, we're gonna be much, much better, okay? So what I mean by that is having control of the board and the kite before we start riding, okay? When it comes down to it, short rides are going to be what is going to influence you to be more successful, okay? Longer rides are going to be a little bit more on the inspirational side, which we definitely need. We need that ride time. But let's get this mastered first, okay? So after we start to pressurize the board and get a little bit more comfortable with that, we can start doing these power strokes and getting short rides. If you're able to do a short ride, stop, and be able to do it again, that's what's called repetition, all right? If you do that over and over and over again, we're gonna nail that full water start. It's probably the hardest thing you have to learn as a kiteboarder, because you're interacting with the board, interacting with the kite, trying to get the right amount of power just to get up and ride. So doing this over and over again, is gonna be crucial to your success. So here we go. We're gonna put the board on, out in front of us, keeping pressure in that sail. And here we are pressurizing the board. We're gonna do our power strokes, nice and easy, going from 12 to two. And once we familiarize ourselves with how much power the sail can deliver, we can start doing these short rides. All right. We're not worried about doing long rides right now. We're not worried about getting up on the board. We can progress into that. A little bit shorter ride. And here we go. We're gonna do a little bit longer ride. Now we're getting a little bit more comfortable. We can start aiming the board and stopping. Bring the kite up to 12. Let's go for another one. But this time, let's go back to the left. So diving to the left, a little short ride. And who cares, I'm slightly underpowered right now. I'm just getting some repetition to get up on the board and stop. Let's do it one more time before I get too close to the beach. And back up to 12 and stop, kick off the board, have the kite stand me up. And here we are, ready to try again. So guys, this is Aaron with Elite Water Sports. We've just gone over basically three to four hour lesson with us here at Elite Water Sports. We went out to the sandbar. We learned how to fly the kite at 12 o'clock, one-handed and two-handed. We learned how to hold the board and walk with it. We learned how to body drag, retrieve our board in deep water, and even do some water starts. So primarily that is our four hour lesson here at Elite Water Sports. So check it out, there's more details to add to it, but this is just a broad, quick overview of what you'll learn with us.